My name is Catayun de la Fuente, and my dream has always been to interview people from around the world. Some of our guests you may know, and others we can get to know together. Join us on our journey to learn more. This is Worldwide Cat. In this episode, we feature the talented Lebanese, Egyptian, Swiss, multilingual Sabine Ganem, a London-based jewelry designer whose approach to making her brand succeed is as unique as the jewelry she designs. Sabine, I love your jewelry. I am so happy that you are here today to talk to me more about it. Well, thanks for having me, Kat. I'm really happy you're wearing my earrings. Right? Yeah. Very beautiful. So tell us a little bit about your first collection and what it meant to you. I looked into 12th century decorative arts. I had a huge book with lots of images and then I was just looking through to find an idea of a piece of jewelry and then I saw a box of relic. This is the name of your first collection, Sabine G Relic. Relic. And so I see all these crazy shapes and forms on this box and I'm like, wow, this could really be something, you know? So I start drawing. and putting shapes together. And and I made a first uh, piece, which is a big piece of earrings, all in rose gold, diamonds, and rubies. And then I got completely obsessed with it, and I designed a 15-piece collection. So I go on holidays to LA, and I go to Maxfield, and I see the buyer at Maxfield, which I, you know, out of luck, I managed to meet for two minutes. And she looked at the jewelry, and she said, okay, I'll take this, 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 and this. You couldn't believe that you had sold. And I said, but I don't have a company. I was just showing you. I wanted to see what you thought. And she said, well, what are you doing? Make a company, because I'm placing an order. And so it happened like sort of upside down. I got into a store before getting a company. So you're in all of these shops and now they're expecting a second collection from you. And the fashion world is a world where they see so much all the time that when you are showing your collection, they're asking for the next collection. So I researched an, a new theme that would be interesting and that I liked, the 1920s Art Deco era and 1960s fashion, very colorful, bold colors. And I j- sort of joined the two eras together to make the new collection, which is called Harlequin that is a very big one. It's 37 pieces, emerald, very colorful. Can you tell us who who helps you? Uh, It's an atelier in Florence, in a little bit away from Florence. It's a father and his two sons. It's a little family business. So you call this guy and go, hey, we just got Neiman Marcus. Give yeah. me more, and, and what happens? I they mean, get there's... so excited because they saw this little girl come in, uh, you know, asking to do uh, one or two pieces, and now it's like they're growing with a you. lot. So yeah, it's great. They're really, really happy for me. They're so helpful. They have very good taste too, because you know, from paper to actual translation piece is a process. And as much as my drawing kit can be good, their work is much better. So together, um, the result is very. Refine. In less than two years, Sabine has rapidly become a recognized brand name within the industry. Her designs have been featured in countless publications such as Harper's Bazaar, Vanity Fair, The Wall Street Journal, and Vogue. Happy with all her success, Sabine still wanted to feature her jewelry on the people she herself was inspired by. To elevate her brand to the next level, Sabine knew she needed to have her jewelry worn by the right person. I wanted to have my jewelry on Celine Dion, so I started to look up a contact uh, for the stylist and I really, really couldn't find one. And so I was in Canada for a weekend. I go to have lunch in a restaurant in Montreal and when I enter the restaurant, I see a familiar face and I tell my boyfriend straight away, I think this is Celine Dion stylist. I went up to her and I said, are you Celine Dion stylist? And she said, yes. And I said, I was trying to reach you. I just started my jewelry brand and I love, love, love Celine Dion and I would love for her to wear one of my pieces. She told me, write me your website on a napkin. The next morning at 9 a.m. I get an email with like a huge request of jewelry pieces for a photo shoot that they were doing. I ended up meeting Celine Dion. She tried on all the jewelry, she loved it, she was so supportive. So it's really incredible that, you know, I just took a chance. So who else have you had your jewelry on? Rihanna. Rihanna was really great. It's so crazy because it happened via Instagram. The stylist saw the jewelry on Instagram and requested a bunch of pieces for Paris Fashion Week. 
From designing in her apartment to filling orders all over the world, Sabine's collections are loved by supermodels like Candace Swanepoel and Naomi Campbell, to actors like Emma Watson, Amber Valletta, and Academy Award winner Lupita Nyong'o. Who is your customer? Who, who do you envision buying your jewelry? Well, realistically, my customer is my age and the generation above, so I get mothers and daughters buying my jewelry, and I hope that the jewelry can be passed on to their kids. That is the DNA of Sabine G. It is to create pieces that are of today, with a feel of yesterday, and that can live tomorrow. It's really what I'm trying to achieve. How do you want people to feel when they wear your jewelry? I want women to feel beautiful. I want them to feel quite grand and dramatic. Jewelry is, is like the extra sparkle. I want them to feel special when they wear jewelry.